I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Of course, it is that time again, time to give you an update on what's happening out in the tropics. We have now made it to the second part of October and we're keeping our fingers crossed. We're hoping that we don't get any more of those massive hurricanes out there or even tropical storms for that matter. Hopefully the rest of the season will end up being quiet, but of course, until we get through the entire season, we're going to continue to update you and let you know what's happening out there in the Atlantic Basin, in the Pacific Basin, to see if we have any tropical troubles on the way. So let's get right to it. The good news for today is that things are looking fairly quiet out there, and that is typical of this time of the year. We're looking at our tropical climatology, and basically, of course, the peak of hurricane season is around September 10th. So that's usually when we get a lot of systems blowing up. We could have the potential for, you know, multiple tropical storms, hurricanes. That's our best shot right around September 10th to have the most action out there, although it can happen at any point during hurricane season. But usually when you get to October and especially the second half of October, that is when things really start to drop off. That is when the potential for tropical cyclones, whether it be a depression, a tropical storm or a hurricane, really start to decrease. So that's what we're starting to see out there and that's kind of lining up with our climatology. So if we can get through the rest of October and especially into November, the chances for development of a tropical cyclone really start to decrease. In fact, we've got all the way through the end of November before we can say this hurricane season is over, but we do still have at least a slim shot. We could have some activity. So of course we're gonna keep updating you even though things are fairly quiet. So speaking of quiet, it's a quiet Atlantic out there. In fact, no storms to show you as far as tropical cyclone activity is concerned. No tropical cyclone formation expected during the next five days. So we can say woo -hoo and celebrate. So that is a great thing. No depressions, no storms, no hurricanes to talk about the Atlantic looking quiet and hopefully that will continue through the rest of October and hey maybe even into November as well. So let's slide on over to the Pacific where we do have a little bit of action. We've got one system here and it does have a very high chance of tropical cyclone formation. In fact this system here just south of the southern Mexican coast has about a 60% chance for tropical cyclone development within the next 48 hours and a 90% chance for development through the next five days. So this is going to be hugging the southern coast of Mexico. It likely will continue to drift off to the west northwest and it is in a fairly favorable environment for that development. But since that track is basically west northwest, I don't expect it to cross over Mexico and try to head our way. So I don't think we're going to have any major impacts from this. However, it does bear watching because it has a very high chance to develop into a tropical system. Right now it is just south of that southern coast of Mexico. As I mentioned, you can see the showers and storms, those colors there, those darker colors blossoming. That indicates the thunderstorms in this system. So it is trying to get more organized. It still is basically a trough of low pressure. It's not a well-defined center or closed center even at this point. So we'll keep monitoring it, but it is something to watch. We do have the fairly disorganized area of showers and storms now, but if this does start to show more organization, then it could become a tropical depression, a tropical storm or a hurricane as it drifts to the west northwest and kind of hugs that southern coast of Mexico. Right now, just to the south of Salina Cruz in Mexico. Let's talk about the names that we could be getting to for the rest of this hurricane season. This is in the Pacific. The next name on the list would be Rosalind. So that system that I just showed you, if it develops, it would be named Rosalind. But we're hoping that it doesn't get any stronger. But at this point, models are indicating that it has a pretty high shot for development. So if we get Rosalind, then we'd have Seymour, Tina, Virgil, and then Winifred. So hopefully we don't get that far down the list in the Pacific, and we certainly don't want any more storms in the Atlantic either. But if we do get any more storms in the Atlantic, next name on the list would be Lisa, then we'd have Martin, then Nicole, and then several others that hopefully we won't have to use this hurricane season. So at this point, things are fairly quiet out there in the tropics, but we will continue to monitor the Atlantic, especially after that five day period to see if we can get anything going, any new tropical waves that could develop further. And of course, we will closely monitor what's going on in the Eastern Pacific because that system does have a high chance for development into a tropical system. Of course, if you haven't already, make sure you have our Fox 26 weather app. 
definitely a good tool to have on your phone, your tablet. You can just pull out your phone, open up the app, and you have a ton of weather information right at your fingertips. The latest with the radar, if we've got any showers moving through, the latest with wind speeds, wind direction, tropical update, and a lot more. So definitely make sure you have that. And I think for tonight, you probably want to know about some really chilly temperatures that we have coming our way. Some of the coldest in several months. So go to the App Store, download the Fox 26 weather app, and you can find out just how chilly things will get in your neighborhood tonight. And also don't forget to check me out. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram on Twitter at Ramesha Shade TV, Facebook at Ramesha Shade Weather and Instagram at Ramesha Shade. Have a great evening. Stay safe out there. And of course, we will always keep you updated on the latest with the tropics. Take care.